let's get started. And again, we changed this class. We had been doing it as a chair yoga. We changed it to more gentle movement. So it's not as formal as a yoga class, um, but we'll do a lot of the same things. We'll still do the resting at the end and, and a lot of the same movements and, and things like that. It's all important. So let's just get started. Let's start with the, our breath. This is very important. Um, and I'd like to share some stuff with you guys as we go along, if it's okay with you, um, as far as what I do in my life and what I, you know, some of the things I read. Uh, and I started reading one very interestingly. Let's take in a deep breath first. And exhale. I really like Audible. I'm an audio guy. Um, so I listen to Audible books. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. So yeah, and then we're just gonna start slowly moving around a little bit, little tiny circles. We're gonna keep our body straight up so we don't wanna be slumped over like this. I wanna have a little bit more uh, like we're getting skewered, if you will, um, and just sort of around. I have my hands on my knees just to hold me in place for balance um, safely on my chair. So make sure that all your surroundings, you're in a safe spot. So I listened to Audible books, and one of the books that uh, I'm listening to now is by the daughter of Bruce Lee. Her name is Shannon Lee, and she um, wrote a book about her father's teachings called "Be Water, My Friend," which is really interesting. And it gets into more, it gets into some movement stuff, but it talks about flowing with life and stresses of life like water. Um, it's very interesting if you have any interest in, in checking it out uh, or listening to it. Um, let's see if we can add it to our lending library. I don't know if you guys know we have a lending library at the foundation that we can, um, that we have people, and I'm going to reverse my direction now, um, that you can rent um, or borrow books from. Very, uh, very neat. We have a lot of yoga and Tai Chi books and some DVDs as well um, that we loan, loan to folks if you have any interest in that. And while we do this, I'm just kind of breathing with the, mo with the motion. So as I go around, I'm taking an inhale and exhale. And we don't want to get dizzy. This is why we keep our head straight and we find what's called the drishti. So just a point so, um, on the wall that we can keep up, uh, our focus, our gaze. Right. This just gets our middle section warmed up. We don't want to overheat. I'm going to reverse one more time, going back. But this is good because this, uh, doing this movement, um, it, it helps really the, um, our, our organs. We squeeze a little bit, maybe add a little squeeze to your stomach. Inhale in and exhale, not going too fast. And we're going to come back to the center in just a second. Inhale and then come back. So the reason we have a drishti is so we're, our head's not flopping around because uh, that's what's going to make us dizzy. Our inner ear is going to get all swirled up and, and get dizzy. I'm going to uh, add another Robert into the mix. All right. And uh, yeah, and so we're just, so um, welcome Robert. Um, we, uh, we just did some circles around like this, just to get our, um, this, our midsection loosened up. And I'm gonna move my chair away um, so you can see me a little bit better in just a moment. Um, so we can do the lower, lower section, but I wanted to, for you guys to see me initially. Um, all right. So now I like starting with my hands. Um, when we do a little, little beginning of, of practice, the, just the kind of getting seated and moving around helps just so we can get in a nice, nice cozy spot. So I'm just gonna start rubbing my, I rub my fingertips together. I'll take a deep breath in and exhale. 
and get some of that energy flowing in, into my fingers. Um, very important aspect. And then I spread my fingers too. So it's not just like this. This will heat up your hands. So, or if you have some sort of neuropathy, it might not feel great. So what you can do is gently touch or not. Um, but you can, you know, it's just, it's not rubbing too much. It's more just getting the muscles go. All right, and you can do a little of this. Because right. we use our fingers for typing on a computer for many, many things. Um, and then a little bit bigger motion as we go. We don't want to get our hands too warm, but we also want to make sure we incorporate our thumbs. So we're going to rotate our thumbs. And gentle movement does not mean it, it's not work, right? I think there's a misconception that there's no work involved. Part of the work is showing up, which I appreciate you guys showing up and being here and being aware and joining the class. That's just showing up is tough for some folks. So thank you for being here and showing up. And so we're just gonna start rotating around slowly. But gentle yoga, like the restorative stuff, is as important as doing other exercises that a lot of people do. Sometimes you see people who lift weights, maybe, and they're all like stiff and, and this. It's, they don't stretch, which is what we're doing. Um, and, and they don't have um, the, the same mobility. And sometimes people can't lift their arms, but yay high, because they work out so much. They can, and, and uh, it's interesting. So there is a balance that's, that's necessary to be able to, to have strength and flexibility, right? So restorative yoga, you know, if you find yourself yesterday, I had a friend, I have a friend who um, I play taiko with, I, uh, I drum with, and she comes over and, and we do um, strength training for myself because I have my shoulder needs some help and my core needs some help. So she comes over and we do some of that. But then today, like my abs are really sore, my shoulders are really sore. So this helps me as much as it helps you guys. So thank you guys for joining. We can do this together, right? And we're just gonna do this in and out. So what we wanna do is we wanna be able to play the piano like this, right? As best we can, right? Including the thumbs because we, we try to make sure that we have some flexibility in our hands. We can grab things, pencils, pens, forks, knives, as best we can. I know if you have arthritis, that can be tricky. Um, so do what you can. We're not here to impress anyone. We're here to help each other, okay? Another thing, and this is a little bit different than this, right? This is, well, it's kittens making biscuits, right? I don't know where I heard that, but I love it. You know how kittens come up to you or kitty cats come up to you. And grab. So you might start feeling your hands being sore a little bit. So we're gonna slow down, go a little slower, grab slowly. Right. And then we're gonna start incorporating our elbow and shoulder. Just opening up. Right. And the reason, one of the reasons we, this is really helpful, do one at a time. One of the reasons this is really helpful is for reaching for things, right? We want to make sure we're able to reach for things. It's not for lifting, right? But it's to restore these smaller bits. Because when we work out or we do other exercises, we might overuse muscles and our joints get overworked. And then it's tough for us to move. I don't know if you've ever done something where it's tough to move the next day. So this helps at least get the rest of the day going so we can have some movement. So we're just gonna do small movements, right? shoulders, because everything's connected in that particular way. Now we're gonna do both at the same time. Try to have some balance, just come up and around. And up and around. Try not to get bunched up, right? Because the goal is to open up. Because when we open up, we can get a bigger breath, which is good. So we're just going to start opening up a little bit more. 
and inhale. Exhale and release. I'm going to scoot up a little bit in my chair. And come up and out and up. Inhale and out. Try to keep your head, you don't have to look at the screen. So keep your head as straight as you can so you're not looking down. Because this also incorporates our neck, right? So just, and go slow up and around. We don't need to, to do any big, big movements. Up. And then also in our thing, instead of going up like this, try going up like this and see how that feels. Right, that changes the how the muscles are. I'm gonna go up like this, up and out. And now on this last one, I'm gonna take another deep breath in. And I'm gonna land behind my back with my arms, if possible. If you can, if, that, if you, this isn't available for you today, it's okay. You can just land at your side uh, of your chair, all right? And just kind of pull on the bottom of your chair. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera so you can see me a little bit better. I'm gonna pull it back. Yeah. You, can, you can see the full, full motion. Hopefully that works. I'm gonna straighten it up. All right, hopefully you can see that better. So I'm gonna come up and then just go around my back. And you might hear some some things pop and move as long as you're not in pain, that's okay. And from here, we just slowly release out to the side. Now, a lot of times when we do this, what happens is it cracks open because our ribs, when we're down like this, our ribs get stuck together, at least the upper ribs, and we might feel some pain or like we can't catch a breath. And it's a lot of times because it's just a rib, a couple ribs got like, squeezed together really tight. Right, and that happens. So, and that can be very painful. So this helps release that. Um, and you might feel a little lightheaded after doing it because what it does is also releases a bunch of oxygen that you haven't been able to get. So just be mindful of where you are in the chair, where you are in the room. And put our hands together, press them together in prayer position. Okay. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Next, we're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to push our hands together. Push, 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 right? Push them together, all the fingers touching. We're going to push and we're going to go up straight. All right, so we're going to inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, go up. We're going to flip our hands. So now our hands are going to be like this. Flip our hands and now come with our thumbs leading and now go behind your back. And sometimes that will release the ribs that are up here that get caught together, okay? And that's how you do it. Another way to do that, because this is available to you even outside of class, right? So if you feel this, another is to go up, open your hands and then go to the side of your chair and pull on, if you have, on the bottom of your chair, if you can pull down, that'll help open chest up. Breathing and letting the, the oxygen in, especially the front part of our chest is very, very important. So holding that, okay? And then trying to get our shoulders back as best we can. Inhale in and exhale. And the breath is very important, but it's what's between the breaths is where our thoughts, where we sit in silence, right? So if you take a deep breath in, hold it. You're not, don't hold your breath for too long. And then exhale. And after you exhale, just don't take a breath in right away. And just sit in that. There's still air, there's still oxygen. And then inhale in. And these are intentional breaths, right? These are intentions. So when we, um, so now when we take an intentional breath, 
we're able to have a nice, pleasant thought that uh, something we want to do later in the day in intention when we take these breaths, it goes and kind of fills our mind a little bit different than just the same thought over and over that we might have, oh, I have to do this or I have to do that. Like now it's an opportunity to really put it in, in the now and the present to sink in to the rest of the day. So let's take another deep breath in. And exhale. On this next breath in, let's have an intention. You don't have to, you don't have to do anything, right? If you choose to have an intention, um, I'd suggest a positive one. Uh, maybe it's one of, I, I, today I want to blank. Maybe it's a physical activity. Maybe it's a mental activity. Maybe it's an emotional activity. Maybe it's asking for forgiveness or maybe it's forgiving. Or maybe it's asking for help or maybe it's giving help. There's all kinds of different things and it's different for every single person. There is no right, there is no wrong. Um, this is that space between the breath where there is no right or wrong, right? There's no action up or down. So whatever the intention is, use your gut, whatever you just came up with. And, and maybe you don't understand it, maybe you don't realize why, but try it, let's try it. So take whatever came in, in and exhale. And inhale in and exhale. On your next inhale, and we'll start warming up our legs. So what I do is I just pump my feet. I just, not like riding a bike, and you can do both at the same time. And I'm just pressing with my toes, I wish you could see it. I'm just pressing with my toes against the ground. Right, so I'm not really doing much work, but I do want to um, let my legs know that I know they're there and that I'm using them. So we're just gonna pump, we can do one at a time. And while you're doing this, if it feels good to keep moving up top, please do. Some people like to take a little break and just pump and breathe, right? So inhale and not rhythmically, not like inhale, exhale. We want to make sure our breaths are slow. Make sure we breathe in slow and exhale slow. Reason is we breathe in too quick, we can get our heart rate up, which uh, in turn heats up our insides, which we don't want to do. So sitting straight up in your chair as best you can. We're just pumping our, pumping our legs. Right. And this is good because just like our fingers, our toes get jammed up because of overuse. So sometimes needing to have them released. I find my big toe on my left foot gets jammed often. And so I have to uh, try and do things like this to help release uh, tension because it can be somewhat painful. Now, again, if you have neuropathy or some sort of, you know, this might, you might need to do this slower or not at all. And in that case, if, 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 if you can't move your toes in that way, just lift your legs slightly, right? The idea is to get the hips going, because when we sit like this, guess where the blood lands? This is where we end up with our feet. Uh, and the reason we do this also is our feet don't fall asleep, which is really kind of um, but when we sit, all the blood and everything flows to right in the center. Um, and it can get stagnant because it's not moving. And that's why we keep moving. And that's why if you're sitting for a long time, whether it's in a car, a doctor's office, your house, at, at, at dinner, it's always good to, to do some motion. Right? And it doesn't have to be a bunch. It doesn't have to be for an hour. It can be for one minute, but it just helps keep things moving. Right? Deep inhale in. And exhale. Now, what I'd like for you to do is bring your arms out. We're going to keep walking. Right, it's going to be more of a walk, but you can pump. We're going to open our arms up like this. And inhale and exhale and come together. 
bring them together. I want you to have your hands out like bear claws, right? Like a bear, sort of. And we're gonna come together in the center and exhale as we come. And stop right here, like we're holding a ball. Close your eyes, press that ball together, but don't move your hands closer, just press it together. Imagine, it's an imaginary ball, right? Basically the size of your head, right? So you want to squeeze, so like I'm squeezing my head, right? Same sort of thing. Inhale, and exhale and release, and release slowly, come out. And you go back in, inhale. As we come in, we're going to exhale and squeeze again. Keep moving your feet, right? Like we're walking. We're going to press again, not all the way. No. Just like a little ball. And you should feel tension in your arms and shoulders slightly. Hands should be somewhat tense, but loose at the same time. We don't want to, have to be so rigid that we're shaking, but we don't want to be so loose that we're floppy, right? So there's a space in between that we want to be. And this creates, helps create some energy. We're gonna take a breath in, our hands come out and press them back together. And this time we come from the gut, we're gonna press a bunch of air up. Inhale, gently exhale. Keep moving our legs. And inhale. And exhale. I'm trying to squeeze that ball tighter, but it's not going to get any smaller. Right? And now stretch out. So we're going to pull this. We're going to make it more of a, a elongated movement. Like it's a bunch of silly dough, right? So we're just going to, or clay, like just pull it out and then. Push it back together. Pull it out. And push it back in. Inhale. Raise your arms up. We're going to relax. Down to herself. Just relax. Flow what you need to flow. If you want to make some waves, that's cool. What was it moving in the 80s where it was like this, something like that? I don't know. We're not trying to do that. <laughs> we just want to have some flow of butterfly, eagle, or whatever, just to loosen up what we just did. Okay, let some energy flow through our body. Inhale, <sighs> exhale. Conduct an orchestra if you want, it's fine. Right, this motion here is lovely. This incorporates a lot of different spaces. And same on the other side. We'll incorporate space. You can do both. Try not to run into each other. Over and under. You can do smaller of these too. You can do super, super small. Right, do this too. Whatever, so just keep things moving around in circles, right? Like we're stirring things up, but we wanna make sure we're doing it slow because we don't wanna heat up too much, right? So just circling around is fine. And moving, and going around. And coming back to the center. Okay, now we're gonna go, and we're going to, to do a little bit more, um, more yogish type stuff, yoga sort of movements. We uh, integrate what we've done now that we've warmed up our feet and legs. And there are other things we can do um, if we want to for our legs, and that is leg lifts, which help. And we'll do those a little bit closer um, uh, in, in a few minutes. But let's for right now take a deep breath in and exhale. And next, we're going to lift our arm and our leg at the same time. So 
and then back down. So we're on the next inhale, we're gonna go up and out. So our arm's gonna go up, our leg's gonna go out. Try not to lock the knee and try not to push too much with your toe, right? Just keep your foot loose. We're just, it's root, this is for our upper leg. And then down on exhale. And opposite side, inhale. And exhale. Right side again. So when I do this, I try to lean back slightly. And this helps the back, the scapula, that area. If you want to turn your hand slightly, you can. This should help your core slightly. And then come down without eating it up too much. Right. Inhale in. And back. We don't want to lean back. We just want to like let our arm naturally kind of go back and bring us with it. If you want with your foot, if it feels good, you can rotate it. Right. And then come down. Right side again, inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Other side. And exhale. Now we're going to do opposites. So I'm going to go my right arm up, my left leg up. So we inhale in and come back and down. And then the opposite. So I'm going to have my left arm up and my left leg up. So inhale. And exhale. One more time, both sides. So inhale in. And exhale. And inhale in. And exhale. One more time. Inhale in. And exhale. Other side, inhale in. And exhale. Now you might feel some pops and things like that because when we do stretches like this, it opens up our ribs and our back. Um, and also it squeezes, but when we release it, it releases some of that. So I know that happens with me um, and it might happen with you, but don't be alarmed if it does, as long as it's not, you're not in pain. If you feel any pain, stop, please. Or if you feel out of balance or dizzy, please stop and just sit and take some breaths in. Or if you feel short of breath, you know, certainly same thing, just relax uh, as well. All right, another deep breath in. We're just gonna take a quick pause. Because remember, we're not doing strength building, we're doing restorative. So we're wanting to stretch out muscles that we might've overused to, to lengthen them out because they might if they're compressed, right? So that's what we're working on today. All right, so um, let's keep walking because we want to stay in motion. While we do that, we can shake out our arms. Because our goal is to get blood flow back, right? And into places that it might've gotten caught up. And that's what the stretching does. There are other stretches that are really good for the hands. Um, that, that you can do just randomly um, whenever. And it's having hands out like this, turning our hands in like this, rotating around like this. These are all helpful. And when we do these things, our joints um, get loosened up. So, um, and it helps, um, helps loosen them up. So before, if you do any lifting weights for strength, even small weights, uh, or any resistance training, it's really important to do the stretching before and after. All right, <sighs> let's take another deep breath in and exhale. On our next inhale, we're gonna bring up our right arm from the side. We're gonna bring it over to our left as we exhale. And 
twist, we're going to turn our chin to, to our left and twist and look. We're going to try to get our chin behind our heads like an owl does, right? But if you can only get to the side, that's totally okay. Go as far as you can. Keep your shoulder loose. We're not trying to, to, to overly stretch. Keep your shoulder so it stays down if you can, as opposed to up near your ear. So keep shoulder down and just bring this over. We want to stretch this backside and these muscles back here. So we're not trying to, to pull on anything. We just want to place so we have some support. We're going to turn and inhale in. See so if you can go a little bit deeper and exhale. And think about this like ringing at a clock. And so it gets air that's been trapped in here out. And we're going to slowly release on inhale. Exhale, slowly release, come back to the center. And do the same thing on the left hand side. All right, it's just a spinal twist. So we're going to inhale up. And come over to the side as we exhale. I tend to either, we don't want to grab the knee the outside of your thigh or a chair is fine too. It depends on how far you can stretch and what works for you. And we're gonna to continue to go over to the side. Left hand is doing nothing, right? It can help support if you want. If you need some extra support, totally okay. So we exhale. Inhale again. Exhale and we're gonna come a little bit deeper again, turning our chin and neck. Ooh. Keeping the shoulder down as best we can. All right. So we can get a little bit deeper. Because it pretends what ends up happening is we feel like we might pull something and we don't want to do that. We want to keep this as relaxed as possible. One more time. Inhale in. Exhale, we're going to come back to the center and just let this arm drop. All right? It should be somewhat floppy, right? But we still have control over it, but it's just going to be a little bit. A little bit flop. So again, we're going to do this one more time. Inhale in, up, and over to the side. So you exhale. This time, stay where you're at, wherever you land, it's fine, and work your neck and bring it back around this way. This time, up, and then around, and down, and up. And around and down. I tend to lead, some people lead with their nose. I tend to lead with my chin, which you're not supposed to do if you get into a boxing match, apparently. Bad thing. But I'm a lover, not a fighter. So, okay. <laughs> so we're going to do it one more time. Inhale on the next one. And exhale. We're going to release at the same time and come back over. And now we're going to do the left side. So we're going to inhale up. Exhale over. The chin's going to be down. We're going to rotate around. And we stay inhaling and exhaling. The next time we come around, next rotation. We inhale and slowly release our arm over to a cell. That helps this tension up here, right, in, in our back. So when we go to do things, it gives us a little bit more ability to stretch out like such. Or if we do get in a fight, we can punch a lot, but we try not to do that. All right, so now let's continue with our neck because we worked on our lower legs you know, um, and our hips slightly uh, with this movement. And we've got our arms. So now we, like our upper body or neck um, is where we hold a lot of tension, especially the back area. Um, holds, can hold a lot of tension because we, looking at our phones, looking at our computers, this gets, um, instead of, um, it's kind of the opposite of what happens when you lift a weight. Instead of compression, it gets expansion. So with this, we need to 
we want to make sure that it understand, you know, that, that we can still sit up straight without having, I tend to lean forward um, and my shoulders tend to come in. So this helps um, bring that back and bring awareness to that. But I would like to work a little bit more on this. This is where we get headaches and, and things like that, tension throughout the day. That's why shoulder rubs sometimes feel good, sometimes they don't, depending on skin sensitivity, of course. But, um, but sometimes it can help uh, and there are different ways to, to manage that. So I'm gonna start with my chin, inhale in, and I'm gonna bring my chin down intentionally and then over to the right and then lift my chin up. So I feel this pull, compress the back, come back over, exhale as we come over, and then back down. Now we're gonna switch and go in the opposite direction. We don't wanna get dizzy. You can keep your eyes open, keep them closed. Keep your eyes open, keep your eyes straight as best you can. Inhale, go on up. And you can put your arms at the side if you want. You can even grab your chair, the side of your chair um, to help. Uh, what we wanna do is we, we wanna make sure our shoulders are down, not up near our ears. So have them down as much as possible. And continue going around. Take it back to the center. Inhale, we're gonna go one more time to the right. Exhale as we go around, stop, lift, inhale, chin back down, bring it to the left. And exhale as we reach the top. Center and come back up and center. Let's pump our feet a little bit. Just because when they sit for too long, if we don't do this, we can they can they can start falling asleep. We don't want that to happen while we're sitting in a chair, because that means we're not getting enough blood flow or something's getting cut off. That's not good. Okay. All right, another deep breath in, and it's at your own pace. So I might be taking a breath in while you're taking a breath out. It's totally okay. The, the idea is that it's a long, nice, refreshing breath and uh, uh, slow exhale. Right? So don't feel, please don't feel that you need to catch up with my breath, right? Because we all breathe differently. All right. And I try breathing through my nose and exhaling through my mouth. Right. As opposed to opposite or breathing in and out of your out of your mouth. So we want to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Think about the different ways you can breathe, right? You can mouth, you can breathe through the mouth. And out like that, you can breathe through the mouth, exhale through the nose, you can breathe through the nose, exhale through the mouth. There are a variety of ways to breathe. And just thinking about that and being intentional about how we breathe is, is, has um, some significance. So I'd like to take another breath in. Remember the, the mantra or the intention that you set earlier? Breathe that in again. Let it sit as we exhale. Sit with it for a second. Make sure you're okay with it. Inhale again. And exhale. We're going to keep our eyes closed. I'm going to put my hands on my, just on my knees for balance. And so I know where I'm at in the world space. Make sure I'm comfortable in my chair because I'd like to do some eye exercises that can help, um, uh, help a little bit with tired, if you have tired eyes. Right. Um, so we're going to start, and it's tough to do this with your eyes open, but I'll try. It's a little creepy looking too. So. Um, so what we're going to do is go, we're going to have our eyes go up, then 
to whatever side you choose, I just say, I'll just say side. So if you go to the right, that's fine. If you go to the left, you just go to the side, then down, then the other side, whatever side you didn't do the first time, then back up, and then back to the center. All right, we're good? So let's try this. So I do this with my eyes closed, so I'll direct but, uh, and guide, but I won't, uh, you won't be able to see what you're doing because um, my eyes are closed, all right? Deep breath in, exhale. Next inhale, we'll start. So we're gonna inhale in. Our eyes are gonna float up and then float over to the side and then slowly go down. You wanna press down slightly if you can and then press slightly to the right and your head might go with you and then up, that's totally normal. And then back to the center. So inhale in, we're gonna do this again. Up, to the side, down, to the opposite side, up, and to the center. Now this should be a long, long, long exhale as we continue through the whole day. And right, so we're gonna inhale in. Eyes go up. Slowly exhale as we go to the side, down, opposite side and up. Now we're gonna go the opposite direction. We're still gonna stay up on the first, but we're gonna to go to the, the side we didn't start with initially. We'll go there, then down to the opposite side and up. Let's inhale in, eyes go up. Opposite side, down, opposite side, up. One more time, inhale in. To the side, up, to the side, down, to the side, and up, back to the side. One more time, inhale in. And you might feel, what's interesting is, when you do this, you might feel other parts of your body lift, like from here, from your chest. So that's, that's normal, right? Inhale in, eyes go up, to the side, down, to the left, up, and center. And this just helps us if you have, um, you know, if you get spasms in the eye or something, this can help. Um, uh, but if you feel spasm coming on, maybe not do it because it's, it's um, but if, if, if this movement um, is supposed to help um, re-engage intentional movements, right? So now we're just gonna go side to side. So I'm gonna inhale in and go to my right side, exhale and go to my left side, and then back to center. Inhale to my right side, to my left side, back to center. Finishing all the air coming out. Inhale one more time. Right side, left side, center. Now, is it important which side to start with? It doesn't, as long as you do both sides, if that makes sense. So we're gonna start in the center, go to the left side, go to the right side and center. One more time, inhale, go to the right side, or the left side, then slowly to the right side and back to center. Now we're gonna go up and down. So we're gonna inhale in, go up, exhale, go down. Inhale, go up, exhale, go down. One more time, inhale, go up, exhale, down. Now we're gonna do the opposite, this last eye exercise. And then we're gonna start down and go up, okay? So we're gonna inhale in, go down. It's a weird feeling because we're used to inhaling, going up. Then we're gonna exhale, go up. You might feel your face open up a little bit. Inhale, go down. Exhale, go up. Last one, inhale. Exhale, go up. Now we're gonna keep our eyes closed and we're gonna start slowing down. You keep your body moving slightly. 
even with your eyes closed, right? Just slightly. You don't want to fall off the chair. You want to make sure we're stable. I keep my hands on my knees. If I need extra support, I can hold the side of the chair, right? We don't want to get dizzy. So if you need to open your eyes, please do. Um, and we don't want to spin too much while we're doing this, right? So if we move anything, keep your head straight. Try not to spin around, okay? Keep your head straight. If you feel good about doing it, move your arms a little bit more. To open them up. No big lifts, just some spins, just to and maybe pump your feet a little bit. And we're gonna start slowing down. With some breaths. If you feel like you need to open your eyes, you can, it's no worries. If you feel dizzy or, or, or not balanced, but what I'd like to do is do my favorite pose in yoga, which is uh, Savasana, right? This is the, where you just kind of lean back in your chair and slowly release everything. We're gonna stretch our legs out in front of us. Right? Taking deep breaths in, you can lean against the back of your chair. You don't want to get so your shoulders are forward. You want to still be very straight, right? You can let your arms drop to the side if you choose. You can also leave them on your, uh, on your thighs. Um, but we're starting to just slow down to that place of stillness and the movement. And so. And believe it or not, this can be the most uncomfortable pose for some people. Some people like to have their hands up as well, almost as if it's a prayer um, and a, resign a resignation, meaning I'm giving myself, um, I'm allowing myself to not be um, in any particular space. I have nowhere to be right now. And I have nothing to do in this moment, just this moment, there's nothing to do. In five minutes, different story maybe. But right now, there's absolutely nothing to do and nowhere to be. Inhale in and exhale. And the resignation we speak of is not one that's not able, that's not controlled resignation, right? Like we're willingly giving ourselves um, space. And also have your hands open at the side. If this is good, this is really what corpse, well, it's corpse pose, but Savasana is where you have your hands up. And this is the point where we release any unwanted tension, any unwanted desire or thoughts. Start letting that stuff go. You know, go in. And exhale. And exhale. And the great spirit inspire us so we have a better mind and heart connection so we're not always in our heads. So we begin to use our hearts, listen to our hearts more. And I'm just straightening myself up because I thought I was sliding down a little bit too much, but get in a relaxed position for yourself. And bring back the mantra. Like your intention from earlier. Say, inhale in. And exhale. So we need to release whatever tension your body's holding. And exhale. Thank you. 
deep in here. And exhale, continue to release whatever tension you have. On this exhale, we're going to start to move our body a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just like we're waking up in the morning. Right. And so we just want to make sure that we're not going too deep, that we get a little less bit. Right? We just let our body sit. And need, when the need to do something is gone. Now we need to come back. We do. We're going to inhale in and exhale. And it just starts slowly moving my neck around as we did before. Just some slow movements with my wrists and my feet, just like we're waking up. Start rotating my shoulders back, holding them over. And we'll reach out a little bit as we inhale and exhale. Come back. Your eyes can still be closed, but start to let some light in, if you will. You might have some tears. It's totally okay. Just start blinking your eyes a little bit to let light in and come back to maybe where, where we began practice. Right, so we're taking a deep breath in. My eyes are still closed. Blinking them slightly. Letting the light back in. And just getting back to our seated position where we were when we started. So we kind of land where we started, but the, the respite bit is, is extremely important. Um, even for five minutes, it kind of helps reset everything that we've done. And hopefully it helps plant the seed that we brought forth earlier um, with um, the intention so uh, that we have. It's really helpful. And I appreciate you guys um, allowing me to help guide because um, this really helps me too. As much as it helps helps you guys, it really gets me back into a practice, um, um, uh, especially with the community and, and things of that nature. So I really appreciate you guys being here and allowing me to share um, uh, some things. So I'm going to come down because I see red lights going on. So just keep breathing in and out. And let's see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so Robert, you're asking um, Tai Chi videos. There is a, um, there is a person who does classes, um, and I'm not sure if we have his books. If not, I will check. Uh, his name is Robert Bob Klein. Robert Klein. He's um, a Tai Chi Qigong master from Long Island, New York. And I've taken some classes from him. I'll find out if we have, uh, but he has some really good books um, and videos as well. He's been practicing since the early 70s in Long Island in New York. Um, and he's very gentle. There's Tai Chi. He's very good explaining things. Um, but he would be one to recommend. I would, um, the lending library would know a little bit more about that, uh, about which um, books or videos that we have. And I know Bob has a fair bit of stuff on YouTube, some of the classes. Um, but I can check with him and, and let you know. Uh, about that, but Tai Chi is really good. It's slow movements, it's slow kata movements. It's a, it's a martial art. Um, so as slow as the movements are when they're done fast, they're um, 
they are uh, uh, can be vicious. So um, his name is Bob Klein, K L E I N, I believe. K L, yeah, Bob Klein. Um, and um, and Tai Chi is really one of those movements. They we get into a lot of circles. It incorporates some qigong. Um, and it gets into circle, circular movements and slow movements and settling and being in a ready stance at all times. Um, and that is uh, uh, always being somewhat ready. You don't want to be, I guess, a ready stance is, isn't, doesn't mean that there's anything to do. It just means you're ready when there is something to do. That makes sense? So there's no rigidity in a ready stance. It just means I'm, I'm, I'm open to being ready. Right. So there's the there's the absolute ready um, and there's the absolute not ready. And then there's somewhere in between. Um, and that's what, uh, from, uh, you know, and in in, in life, just like anything, is a practice. So we're in, and we're always between the light and the dark. Right. There's only so many minutes of dusk and so many minutes of dawn. It's very similar to our breath. Um, so with Tai Chi, there's the movements, there's flow, there's stops, and there are things that come back. Um, thank you, Kamani. I appreciate you doing that. Um, there's a, yeah, so Kamani just put up a link to the website. Um, and yeah. And uh, yeah, Tai Chi is, uh, is wonderful. It's nice slow movement. So I hope you guys um, if you have any suggestions for what you would like to do uh, in class, I totally am open to them. Again, my email is chris at msfocus.org. Um, and um, remember, we have another yoga class, chair yoga. We actually move the time, I believe, to 930 on Mondays. Um, so that time uh, move, but that's like yoga yoga, right? So which is really good. Um, and so what we're doing, like I mentioned earlier, is more gentle movements, incorporating a variety of practices. Um, and uh, yeah, so I hope, uh, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. And thank you so much again for, for being here um, and uh, doing some movement with us. And I hope you feel good. That's also good to let us know how you're feeling. And remember, it's... Um, I to remember to wear orange for National um, MS Awareness and Education Month and let your friends know. And if you have friends who would like to join this class, um, please feel free to invite them. Um, and yeah, so uh, normally in a yoga class, you would say namaste. I'm going to say thank you um, and namaste as well, because uh, I, I love that as well. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, and uh, and thank you so much. And we'll be back again uh, uh, again next week.